Welcome to The Daily Show. I am Russ. This is Chris. It is Wednesday. Wednesday means we roll that ball tonight. We roll that ball tonight. You know what? I got to pick my game up tonight. That's what. This might help you pick your game up. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, this is, this, is the, this is in my head every time I get ready to bowl. Check this out. Let's bowl, let's bowl, let's rock and roll. Hey, come on, let's get the show on the boat. <laughs> I know they might get mad at me for doing it, but I'm in. Yes, you we are can do in. It. You are in. You are in. Hey, what? Last two weeks I hadn't worried about a mark. Right. I just been worried about my deal. Right. So tonight I'm gonna worry about my mark. And let's see what happens. Let's I see. think you're fine, man. I, I think it those last couple games, <clears throat> that last game when you get tired. But if you, because you usually been hitting your mark, just your ball was, your ball was just kind of, and you're taking advice from a guy. It's like. Probably not got to take bowling. Well, no, I, I think sitting back and watching, I think you you get an idea of man, he's not he's not ripping that ball like he was. He ain't getting it down there. I, I tell you what, let me say that people are watching your bowling. I know we're talking bowling, but Chris's ball when he rose, it's got good form, and the the balls are made with weights in them, so they get down there and they do this, and it, his gets down. It's doing this, but it's going slow, and that's when and I have the problem too when I get. We, we got to, man, I don't know, Tommy, how they throw it, where they push it further. I don't know. We're working on it. Getting there, getting there. Like a Maryland woman written a ticket for going two miles under the speed limit. Did you read Gosh. the story? I, I saw the caption, but I did not read the story. What happened? She said, let me, let me just set this down. And All right. For the policeman. I didn't, I didn't. What was happening? She's in the left-hand lane. Oh, my. Then let me give that up for that. Get your ass over. That is probably the worst. Hey, when you in the left lane, that is called the fast lane. The passing lane. The whatever. Oh. And you're not supposed to be there. I have begged for this to happen. I like it. Of course, AAA and all those are fighting for. But that's come why on. we have traffic. Exactly. That's why we have traffic. Exactly. If you're gonna drive slower, move over. And people Pay attention in your vehicles. I am very good with it. Chris is very good with it. If I'm in the left lane and I'm driving 75 and the guy behind me is going 81 and coming up on me, I move over so he can keep going. I don't care if he's speeding or not because if I stay there, he stays there, this car, pay hey, attention. Hey, it is Murphy's Law. It is Murphy's Law, though, when you get in the right-hand lane that when you get up to this car, there's another car right here, and and they can they can be flying. They can every, every and when you get here, they're right next to you, and you gotta hit the take it off cruise or whatever yeah. to go around. Every that is time. annoying. Every time. That's annoying. That is annoying. All right, I know you guys. We watch it, but the taste finale was last night, and spoiler alert, spoiler alert. It don't matter now because it's over. Christine won, and she is Charlie Sheen's cook, and a chef, and half dude, half girl. I don't mm -hmm. know something like that. But she is a freaking amazing. Kudos to her. That is a show that we, you know. What well, dish did she cook to win it? Because I hadn't watched it yet. <laughs> they had to cook a. They had to cook three. They had to cook three appetizer? spoons. An appetizer. Appetizer, entree, and dessert. Uh, no, because she went. Don't want to quote me on this, but there was no dessert in there. Okay. It was three spoons, but it had to use. I have mind. to watch it. Let me just tell you. Loved it. <clears throat> loved it. Loved it. All right, what you got? Okay. What? I'm fixing to do something here. And you know, the older you get, the, the less working out you want to do right, a lot of right, times. Right, right, well, right. somebody sent me a challenge last night. No way. And it wasn't and me. And I... I'm down for it. All right. And I'm going to tell you what it is in just a second. <laughs> but some workout do's and don'ts. Right. I did Some see things these. that have changed. You changed your workout Completely. from three years ago to today. Yeah. Completely. Crunches. Yep. Do planks. Yes. That's what they're saying. Bench press. Do regular old push-ups. Yes. Now, I don't think you can, you can get a lot of size with push-ups, right. can not, you? You're not going to grow. 
but you're going to get the work at, at our age and for what they're telling people, you're going to get the same benefit. Yes. Well, this challenge is the squat challenge. Okay. And Air, it is a 30 day challenge. Air squats or with weights? Air squats. Okay. It is a 30 day challenge that you start day one with 50 squats. And I know everybody knows what a squat is, just right, here right. and here. And if you didn't hear that cracking, that was Yeah, that was my knee. <laughs> 50 squats. We will have And you add you. five squats a day, All right. taking a rest every three days. So you go 50, 55, 60, rest. rest. Day. Three on, one off. The last day, you should be up to 240 squats. I will tell you this, if you have never done it, on the first part of the CrossFit games, when they come out of the water, the ones in California, they have to do a hundred air squats into the push-ups, and I have tried to do a hundred in a row, and it is tough. Now, so I'm saying, I, I did last night, I just went ahead and did 20, just to see, and it wasn't too hard, but I promise you, it will give you cardio, because it's the biggest muscles in your in your right, body. Right, absolutely. And ladies, it will raise your butt. If you so, women, oh my God, if so, you women, a woman said it to me, and I went, "Hey, let's just create a challenge." So I'm going to create a page today or tomorrow called the Red Sea 30 Day Ass Challenge or something. Here's what you know what, and we're going to use that page. Hold on, okay. I'm going to use that page for motivation. Yeah. When you get through, I want you to go to that page and say you've done them or not done them. Take a picture at the beginning, take a picture at the end, and let's see what happens. I will even go one better than that. Okay. As soon as you create that page, today is Wednesday. When do you start your Tomorrow. challenge? Tomorrow. I didn't, I didn't want to start before bolded. <laughs> Good call. Good call. The challenge will start tomorrow, and on the first page, there will be myself and Chris doing 50 squats. Okay. On Friday, there will be... 55 squats. On Saturday, we're probably going to have to do them um, before shooting or after shooting. I'll probably do it after. Because we shoot, we shoot. And then Sunday we rest. But we will do it in our and little workout room we have in here. Today, take your phone, or when we get through, I'll go a little wider. And I just want you to show the people how to do a corrector. Yep. Okay. I'll show you how to do it exactly right. To where it doesn't put a lot of pressure on the back and stuff. Women, good lord. And if and if men would throw in the push-ups with that, you do your 50, but you don't do 50 push-ups. You could start with five right. and work your way up to 25 or 30. You'd be amazed at what would happen. Hey, get ready for summer. Anyway, there's that challenge. I'm gonna create it. Like it. I'm gonna invite people. Hope hope a bunch of people get on board. Like it. Because I need I you gotta, you know me. Man, ain't nobody doing it. I ain't going to do it. <laughs> you, just saying. All right, what you got in your hand there? Oh, I got, oh, this deal here? Yeah, let me talk about this. I was at the Melody Ranch, and a lady that, that cooks over in the corner has lost her son, Robert Charles Taplin III, and they're going to have a benefit. And I'm going to talk about this probably once a week until the until 30th. Happens. March 30th at Hooters from 12 to 5. You know... When I lost my dad unexpectedly, they, they threw a golf tournament for yep. me. And I can't say what it means to not have that burden of, man, where am I going to get this money from? So get out there, help a great cause. Going to have Brett Hendricks, Short Notice Band, and George's Blue Jean Angels singing. And they got a bunch of stuff to give away. Melody Ranch? No, this is at Hooters. At Hooters, yeah, yeah, yeah. His mom, his mom works it. And he was best friends. With our friends, Wynn and Ellen, yeah. son. Uh, place kicker? Yeah. Yeah. They were, they were best friends, and uh, so it kind of hits close to home, I guess. Yeah. Especially so remember that, March 30th, out. 12 to 5 at Hooters. Help out, help out, help out, help out. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Now, <clears throat> like I said, tonight we bowl. Yes. And I'm excited about that. You have got to go leave for some exciting news, maybe. And then when he gets back, we got to go to Chilton to <laughs> secure these last few locations. And I need the mayor I to can go all, down there with me. I can only imagine <laughs> the conversation that will be happening this afternoon. Oh, I can't wait for it. I can't wait for it. But uh, we're going to get out of here. 
because I have to edit the show, and he has a few more stories, and I don't want to do a lot of work today. <laughs> so, I just want to be straight up, and I want to be honest with you. Tomorrow. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let's have me a piece of chocolate. Yeah, we're going to put that up, too. And we've got some, some a new, new fad. New fad. New craze coming through Central Texas. If you want to get on board, a friend of ours who handles all our, our guns and props and stuff yeah, is yeah, selling yeah. it. So we're going to talk about that. All right. Before we go, go over there and back it out. Okay. Until tomorrow, I'm Russ. There goes Chris. I'm going to show you the proper way to do a squat. And there's two ways for you uh, ladies and men. There you go. That's probably good enough. And we're off the green screen. There's two ways to do it. Hands are out or hands are up. Shoulder width apart. Weights on the heels. Always keep your weight on the heels because you don't want to lean over your toes. I'm going to do it this way at y'all, and I'm going to do it sideways. Get my, my sweatpants up. So it's down to a parallel to where you feel like you could just fall back over on your heels and straight up. Sideways. Shoulder width apart. Down. Weights on the heels. And you're pushing up with the heels. This is working this muscle here, ladies. Little brother, if it's hard, don't be scared to put your hands on your, on your, and you don't, you're not going to go below parallel, so don't go like you're going to sit on the floor, all right? Challenge, we start tomorrow. I'm pumped. I'm pumped Chris is doing it. Yep. Yeah. All right, we'll see y'all later.